What are you looking at? You seem melancholy, sir. Take care of your own stuff. What? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Would you like me to help analyze it? I can do it alone. As you wish, sir. I just thought it might be faster. I'll do it alone! Walter was my friend. I understand, sir. Have a look at that. At what, sir? And not you. But there's nobody else here. I know. It's just something people say. You were talking with yourself. Yes. People do that. Lonely people do that. Walter is lonely, correct? What makes you think that? Because I said that he's crazy? I can tell by these records. It's like he is talking to himself. He needs a friend. He needs a doctor. I don't think he has anything new for me. This contact is currently offline. There she is. Valerie von Stahl. Perfections. Von Stahl and Kurtz. Kurtz again. Von Stahl to be put in cryostasis December 7th. That was a month ago. That won't get me anywhere. I need more of Adam's data. So, James beat you at chess? Yes, sir. Multiple times. He's at the top of the leaderboard. What level are you playing at? Not very high at the moment. You removed my memory module, sir. If you gave it back to me, we could play a game against each other. Maybe someday. Now leave me alone. I need to think. Could I please have my module anyway, sir? What? My memory module. Not now, I'm busy. I know, sir, but... Not now, okay? Of course. I have time. A secret lab. No clue about the location. If you think he is crazy, then why are you studying his records? 
I can't afford to ignore them. I need to check every trace for a clue. That is not logical. Walter wasn't always like this. He was a good man. One of the best. When Walter had a hunch, there was always a story. I understand. So you betrayed him, sir. Is that the correct word? What do you mean? You said he was your friend. Past tense. He was? You left him alone. He became lonely and therefore crazy. That is logical. No, it was the other way around. He got so involved in this... this... madness, and now... Now you're looking for things in there that you could use. <sighs> hey, what are you trying to say? Forgive me, sir. I didn't want to pry. I'm just trying to understand your behavior. Uh-huh. And do you understand now? Yes, sir. I do. Future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Interested? Marsit Inc. is taking applications. Pulsing through the Western world is not letting up. Walter? Walter? Hey, anybody home? Ah, Richard. Did you leave something here? I told you I'd come back to check up on you. What's so interesting there? Nothing. That's all over. I'm... just thinking a little. You don't sound good, Walter. Neither do you. Do you want to ask if I found Tracy and James? Of course, I can ask you that. So how's it going with Tracy and James? Have you found them? Walter, do you really not care? We're friends. We were. Partners. And friends. The best. Yeah, well, those times are over, Richard. Come on now. We haven't seen each other in a while, is all. It happens. We'll work it out. No, we won't work it out. You're not here because 
I am alone. You're here because you are alone. Did you clean up? Looks a little different here today. I told you, I don't need that stuff anymore. I threw it in the shredder. What? There were important things in there. Your awards, our research. Important for whom? <sighs> for you! For your life. Isn't that what you always told me? That you need something that lasts? You have not understood. You know what Tracy always said about you, Walter? You gave the impression of a broken man. I always defended you. But now... I have my path behind me. You have yours in front of you. I wish you the best. Is that it? Walter? Fine. I'm going now. Will you call me when you... when you've begun your new life? Fine. Nanoscan, the technology used for collecting molecular genetic data from applicants for the Martian Colony Program, is to be... I'll talk to him later. This contact is currently... Not now. This contact is currently...
What? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. I'm coming. You don't want to open it? I'm going. Good morning, Mr. Newman. Is John ready? Uh, morning? Ready for what? He has an appointment with Dr. Sykes, sir. Oh, right. John! When can I pick him up? John's nanny will take care of that. Oh. Okay. Hello, buddy. Come with me, little robot. Adam, your workday at the present will begin shortly. I should get to work. Uh, not now, I have to get to work. Good day, Mr. Newman. You too, Miss Patrick. You too. Wonderful day. Uh, not now. I have to get to work. Where did the kiosk go? Huh? The kiosk. Was it taken down? There was never a kiosk here. Of course there was. It was right here. No, not that I know of. I'm absolutely certain. Sorry, I can't help you, sir. Welcome back, Adam. Nice to see you back at work. Adam, we were so worried about you. Thanks, Carrie. Cindy. Cindy, uh, of course.
Hey, why is that bot sitting in my chair? Welcome back, Adam. Adam, we missed you. Is that why a robot is sitting in my chair? Yeah, that and... Uh, look, Adam. How do I start? Uh, as you know, Project Independence is top priority. And on Sunday, when it launches, a lot of things will change for all of us. While you were gone, it became clear to us that we didn't need... <sighs> oh, I'm so terrible at this. Come with me. Cheers to Adam Newman, our new head of the writer's department. To, to Adam. Adam! I hate you all. Here, your new desk, Adam. This was your idea. <laughs> That's a serious accusation, sir. I hope you have evidence. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Um, wow. He's into it. We have everything under control. Is there something urgent to do? Uh, no, uh... Give me a couple of augmented pieces. That's always a good start. Start? Fred, I've been working here for 15 years. So what? You had an accident. Leave the heavy lifting to the others. Like I do. I could do with a promotion. Let me play Fisbee too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. Enough with the Shakespeare, Stuart. Okay, people, fun time's over. Back to work. Another one? What the? Are you seeing this? Is that a trick question, Adam? No 
good, Adam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. Am I the only one seeing this stuff? What does this guy want from me? Um... Is your hub running properly? I just had a mess of data here. Your system is running stable. Uh, now it is, but... It's faultless. We all use the same system. There's, um... At my desk, there... No. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Adam, if you still need a few days to... I'm fine. My hub's playing up. <laughs> Piece of garbage. These earthquakes are messing everything up. Sunday will be the end of them, hopefully. You really think so? You think the project will work, and we'll all be allowed to leave the city? Yes, of course. Sure. Independence will be a success. It has to be. The question is, what should we do out there? I know I'll be staying here in the capital. Nowhere else is better than here. I should probably say thanks. Well, you earned it, Adam. You can head home, Adam. Take it easy. You can head home, Adam. Take it easy. You can head home, Adam. Take it easy. All good with you? Cindy. Cindy? Of course. Thanks, Adam. How can you all be so calm? We trust our own propaganda that everything will be okay. Adam, what's wrong? It, it's strange. I, I remember the earthquake, but I don't remember remembering, if that makes any sense. No, seriously. You should head to the clinic. You're giving me the impression you should be there. My hub is throwing up some weird stuff. Well, show me. I can. It stopped. Perfect. Just don't think about it. Works for me, too. Listen, Stuart. Did you put someone up to calling me? I'm sorry. What? A man. Some guy called Richard. He called me this morning. Started saying some crazy stuff. W w what do you mean? He's blackmailing you? No. No. Threatening you? No, he, uh... It's not important. No, come on. What did he want? Uh, I think he was looking for testers for some new app. It's possible he's already using it on me. What do you mean? Maybe we're all actually testing it, and we just don't know it. A awesome idea. You look a little pale, Adam. You been to the doctor? Do you know what this is? Someone dropped it near my apartment door. Holy... What, what? What is it? Hey, put it away, Adam. What I'm about to tell you stays between us, okay? That... that thing, only a very small group of people know about it. They've been here for years. They're from planet Alpha Zen. There are millions of them. Huh. Oh, come on, Adam. It's just a bog-standard tracer. That's what the technicians use to analyze geohazards. Hey, why so stressed? Then why did the guy run away from me? His ID was invalid, and the geohazards happened just after. Okay, Adam. Conspiracies are layman's field of expertise. Oh, fine. Forget it. So what should I do with it? It belongs to City 5 Services. Give it to me. I know a guy there. He'll give it back. No, no. It's okay. I'd rather take care of it myself. Sure. Why well, make life easier?
Adam, please give me a call. I have to talk to you. Adam, how are you? Uncle Jeremy is coming out of his cryo sleep on Saturday. We're all meeting at the Wilson's place. Are you coming? Family is important, Adam. Okay, I'll stop. See you soon. Lots of love. Adam? Are you sending me your data junk to my workplace? What? No? Whatever. This has to stop. Send it over. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to keep- Adam! Send it to me, please. This is insane. If my world isn't real, how do you know so much about it? That's not important. I want to know. <sighs> sure. I'm in contact with some hackers. Hacker? Uh-huh. And what do they want? Their leader, Jeff, uploaded one of his people to where you are. A man called Charlie. They want you to find him, this Charlie. They've lost contact with him. Charlie? And that's all? No, not quite. They want to find the server where your city is stored. They're planning to set off bombs. Destroy City 5. <laughs> okay, Richard. Wait. Is this a test? Dr. Sykes? Is that you? This is part of the cognition test, right? No, it's not a test. Listen, I love playing the game. It's but... not a test. What I'm going to say to you must stay a secret, otherwise... Sure. I understand. Ah, Adam, I was just about to write you a message. Do you have a second? I need to talk to you. No, no time at all. That's what I wanted to write to you. It's insane here. I don't think I'll make it home tonight. Don't be mad, okay? I really hoped we'd see each other today. Everything okay with you? No. Can we meet up somewhere? Wait. Why don't we meet up at Liquid Sky? You know, the art exhibition? In the Lantern Quarter? Lund's opening up a new room. I'm sure they'll let us in. Sounds good. Perfect. See you later. Love you. Hug John for me, etc., etc. Come and visit Liquid Sky. Give me one. Another light bulb, please. It's not a laughing matter, John. Why not? Because you don't laugh at these things. When your father comes... John? We're here. What's going on? Nothing. This is Sally. Mr. Newman, pleasure to meet you. City 5 Robotics apologizes. I should have been delivered this morning. My calibration took longer than expected. Is everything in order, sir? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was just... You thought I was human? Yes. Would you prefer another model? Are you not satisfied with my appearance? What do you think, John? Should we have her exchanged? No, I like Sally. You like her? Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Okay, Sally. Then I'll give you the briefing. John usually goes to bed at, uh, well, about, uh... Ten o'clock. Right. In bed at ten, and he gets up... At half past seven. Did John 
tell you already? The data is available through the bot network. Oh. That means you're fully informed. The more I know about John, the better, don't you think? I'd rather be the one to tell you. Would you like me to block my access to your family's entries? I can if you like, but my ability to empathize will be reduced. No, don't bother. We don't want to do you any damage. So, you know what to do. Help, John. Would you like me to modify your personal settings to improve my learning capability? Now? I, uh... I actually have stuff to do. There's no rush. Okay, then. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Mr. Newman. Yes, sir? Sally. Mr. Newman? Sir? I'm hungry. Don't push, John. Any special request? Noodle soup? I'm starving. Mr. Newman? Yes, sir? Your favorite soup. Just how you like it. And? How is it with Dr. Sykes? Is he nice? I don't know. He hooks me up to these machines and then tells me to sleep. But Governor Kane was there today. He was nice. What did Governor Kane say? Not much. That I'm too smart for a kid for my age, and that he wants to take good care of me. Uh-huh. Too clever? What does he mean by that? More soup, John. No thanks. Does he want to keep visiting you? It's possible. Why does Dr. Sykes want you to sleep? He says we can learn a lot when we sleep. And uh, does sleep help? Can I eat now? Okay, okay. And you? Not hungry? Maybe later. I still have some work to do. This late? Uh, yeah. I have to get back into the flow of things. Sally. Do you know what the governor wanted in the clinic? No, sir. Doctor's visits are classified. What do you want to learn today, John? The tennis ball experiment. Interesting. Stanford, 2024. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Okay, this data is pointing towards... West Plaza Tower 633. That's my apartment. 13 years ago. Yeah. 
That's... Almost got it. uploaded immediately. Okay. You have new data from unknown. This is completely insane, but... We'll see. Tracy. Come on, turn that off. Just a second. Don't eels live in fresh water? I'm on the ocean, and there's a bunch of eels in the water. At least I think they're eels? Toby and I are on this ship. <laughs> Slow down. Toby? Your assistant? Yes. You're playing Neverland with Toby? Shut up. You're playing Neverland with your robot? Toby's adaptable. Yeah, I'm sure he makes for a great Peter Pan. Shut up. Come on, turn that thing off. I'm addicted! That's not exactly an argument. All right. So, what can I get you? I'm not hungry. You need to eat. No discussion. Some fruit? Sounds nice, but I don't think my stomach can take it. Cereal? I can't look at cereal anymore. A sandwich? Yeah, a sandwich is good. As you wish, madame. Did you take your meds? Yes. No, not yet. I don't want to be that guy, but you're not out of the woods yet, Tracy. Don't you need to go to work? I've got Walter. He's got my back. Isn't he pissed that he has to do all your work? You know what? I think he's happy when I'm not around. Oh. Nah, it's all good with Walter. He knows that this is important to me. I mean, this here. With you. Eels live in fresh water and in salt water, according to the cloud. Okay. I'll call your parents this evening, okay? Oh, God. We have to. I'll help you clear this all up. And anyway, I wanted to introduce myself to them. <laughs> You're actually serious about this, aren't you? Of course I'm serious. Voila, madame. Breakfast is ready. You're really sweet. Now, wait a second. Something is missing. Music. <laughs> a special occasion? <laughs> exactly. Wait. Let me find something good. <sighs> When's your court date? In two weeks. So, if you need money... Huh? Why would I need money? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm the one looking out for you. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> okay, you're so old-fashioned.
Got it. Exactly what we need. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard that in ages. How did you know my taste in music? Did you visit my My Life page? No, just seems we have the same taste. <laughs> Liar. Hey, listen. I'd never lie to you. Then what's this? Is this part of the breakfast? I can open it up for you. Should I? Okay. Richard, it's beautiful. Will you be my wife, Tracy? I have another idea. We Tracy, could... darling, it's all fine. Stop stressing yourself out. I'm not stressed. I'm excited. So am I. But you should relax. I'm two weeks overdue. Exactly. If you keep on like this... Then what? Then it will come. Finally. <laughs> I could use one more night's sleep. <laughs> uh, there won't be much sleep now. I need chocolate. I'll get you some. Hmm... I told you. Oh, God. It's happening. See? Your water broke. Call a cab. Okay, okay. Calm, calm. This is all completely normal. You hear me? I am calm. Call the cab. Uh, yeah, of course. You go faster. What the hell's going on? Uh, uh, Stop the car. Your cab is stationary. The temperature will be adjusted. What the hell? Please don't open the door until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Computer, stop the car now! You may now light the car. Is this a joke? We're getting faster! Tap car in pushes you as you stay in your destination. Richard? Computer! Manual control! Richard! What can I do? Please don't have to to the vehicle is going to complete stop. Hold on tight! Oh god!
This accident. That was my accident. What are you doing? John? I... Nothing. I... I just nodded off. You were muttering in your sleep. Where were you the whole time? Do you need anything? No. Okay. Well, then get back to bed. I can't sleep. Oh, uh, I'll just be a moment. I uploaded new data for you. Did you find it? This isn't the best time. I'm not alone right now. Uh, you still don't believe me, do you? I don't know. I have my doubts, but your life down there, with Tracy, it's something good. Something valuable. You've seen more of Tracy? You saved her. It felt real. You understand? True. Yes, I understand. Uh, I have to think about this. Look for new data, he says. But where? Will you be coming to the big unveiling on Sunday? If your parents allow it. Sally. During my accident, was there someone in the car with me? You were alone in the vehicle, Mr. Newman. No, I remember... You were alone. It says so in the report. In the report? Yes. Oh, and Sally? You can call me Adam. I mean, <laughs> well, you're part of the family now. Thank you. I appreciate that, Adam. What were you doing? You were in your room for so long. Nothing. I was working. Good night, John. I'm not tired. Don't worry. We'll fix that in no time. I'll be back in a second. Just close your eyes. Something's wrong with me. What do you mean? Did you go to the other side? After the accident? Were you dead? John. Damn it. Who's calling? Nobody you know. You're not gonna pick up? I'll call back. Sorry, what did you ask me? Nothing. Okay, sleep now. You've got another appointment with Dr. Sykes tomorrow. Adam, what will happen to me when I've solved all the problems? There is no danger of that happening soon, John. Just close your eyes now, hmm? Can you leave on the light? What was that? I broke a glass. It happens. No, it doesn't. It shouldn't. It can't. Broken glass is good luck. Everything okay, Sally? Something is not right with me. Don't worry. Just print out a new glass. <laughs> 